Good evening, Mr. Bob. Blofeld. Good evening, 007. Double jeopardy, Mr. Bob. You killed my only other double, I'm afraid. After his death, volunteers were, understandably, rather scarce. Such a pity. All that time and expense simply to provide you with one mock heroic moment. Willard White speaking. Yes, Governor, I got your message. No, no, I'm afraid a personal appearance is quite out of the question. I'll send a deposition to the committee. Thank you, Governor. Well, that's a neat trick. A voice box, Mr. Bond. Science was never my strong suit, but the uh, principle's easy enough. Someone's voice patterns and resonance stored in a small oral signature tape. A miniature transistorized version is installed in his neck. Or is it his neck? I never can remember. Anyway, no matter. We both sound alike. My congratulations to you both. Oh, nice little company. Explosives, oil, electronics, houses, aviation. I've done rather well with it, too. Tried to cut some of the fat off, but actually, Mr. White's a splendid administrator. <laughs> Damn thing runs itself. I suppose you've killed him. Nothing so melodramatic. I'm simply holding him in cold storage, so to speak. An insurance policy against any outside interference with my plans. Mm, the ideal kidnap victim. No one's seen the man for five years. So who's going to miss someone who's already missing? How clever you are, Mr. Bond. Nice to see you haven't lost that fine mental edge, 007. Please don't get any foolish notions. That missile is not a practical weapon. Well, it's hardly worth the effort. After all, I wouldn't know which one of you to kill. We appreciate your predicament, Mr. Bob. We deeply sympathize. Right idea, Mr. Bond. What's wrong, pussy? I do so enjoy our little visits, Mr. Bond. However potentially painful they may be. But I'm afraid this one has come to an end. What do you intend to do with those diamonds? An excellent question. And one which will be hanging on the lips of the world quite soon. If I were to break the news to anyone, it would be to you first, Mr. Bond. You know that. But it's late. I'm tired, and there's so much left to do. Good night, Mr. Bond. <laughs>